Hello friends, welcome to Genius Books. I am Vinod Kutkor, I am Monk. Today we are looking into a most beautiful topic of our IS preparation, that is Indian Constitution. Uh, mean, meanwhile, you please find out the difference between polity and constitution. What is polity? What is constitution? All those things you can read. Now we are looking into preamble. What is preamble? What is the meaning of preamble? Introduction, preface, pretext. You open any book, you will get preface, either preface or pretext or introduction. Is that all? Preamble means introduction? No. Preamble means preface? No. And what does it mean? Preamble means what? It has very deep philosophical meaning. Okay, you look at this King Penguin. Okay. What is it doing? It is walking before this beautiful blue ocean. You imagine Tendulkar, Sachin Tendulkar, he walks for batting, he is batting from pavilion to batting crease. Okay, and he will make a wonderful century. It was World Cup final, it wins, India wins World Cup because of Tendulkar's century. Or you can say Virat Kohli, whoever. That walk from pavilion to batting crease, that walk before the grand event, that century. That is what preamble understood. So, a great form formation of a constitution before that, whatever they decided how our constitution should be, how what kind of government we have, that objective that is what they are in our preamble. Okay, so preamble the literal meaning of preamble is walk before, it is a Latin word. Preambulus. Okay. So preambulus, preamble originated from preambulus. It's a Latin word that means walk before. Look at this penguin. Imagine that Tendulkar or Virat Kohli or whoever, Edmund Hillary, Tenzin, no game. Just before they started the famous climb of Everest at the base camp, before the start, that walk before. You just imagine what was going on in their mind. That deep philosophical meaning is it has what meaning this preamble has. Okay, so you won't get this uh, anywhere in uh, any book or in any coaching institute. Is this required for the exam? Yes. This is how you have to prepare. Okay, not by rote learning. The ready-made contents, compilations, no, you should not stick to only those books prescribed by toppers or coaching institutes or your seniors or your friend. Please don't be trapped under that herd mentality. If you, are, if you want to get success in IAS, you have to evolve your preparation, evolve, that's what is required. This is how you have to evolve. Preamble means introduction. No, that's, it's not the end. Don't stop there. What does it mean? Why we have to call it as preamble? Why not just introduction? So if you prepare like this, definitely you are going to get that success. So your preparation, don't call it preparation. You have to evolve through it. This is how you will develop your personality. For personality test, you need not go to mock interviews, okay. In UPSC interview, they won't see what you have learned of, uh, by these uh, mock interviews and training institute. No, they won't see that. They see in you, your personality. They will understand, they very easily understand how much you are original and how much you is trained, okay? So, most important thing to get success in IS, your preparation should be evolution, okay? You have to evolve the things. 
that process this exam the entire exam is about 18 months whatever you prepare now whatever you are already it is all your personality okay for personalities you did not go for any extra training and for preparation also you have to evolve your preparation because of that understanding the things in such a way is most important okay in fact in my interview when i attended they asked me to recite preamble word to word can you imagine i was able to do it because i had practiced it before because that preamble is such a wonderful thing if you see that each word is you feel very that each word is noble okay so people one uh, constitu- constituent assembly member pandit thakur das bhagwan he called our preamble as soul jewel also he called jewel of our constitution and nani palgal called it as id card of constitution okay after sridayatullah when he was a supreme court judge he also called it as soul before him pandit uh, thakur das bhagwan already had called it as soul okay don't confuse this with the soul described by dr ambedkar that article 32 fundamental rights that article 32 uh, that is also called as soul by ambedkar that those are funda- it is about fundamental right that is different i am talking about preamble preamble is also called as soul first by pandit uh, thakur das bhagwan afterwards Uh, justice hidayatullah so it's all there so it is a, it is so so no for constitution you think that constitution that book bulkiest longest written book is on building or body and this preamble is so so of that body so preamble you understood no no you imagine this you recall this king penguins walk you recall tendulkar's walk towards his batting crease you imagine that edmund hillary and ten tensing now they at the base camp just before the start of their world famous climb where they conquered mount everest so that what before is preamble now with this angle you look into our constitution constitution is such a wonderful work we call ambedkar as architect of our constitution architect is an architecture so for that this preamble word fits very well you know our constitution is bulky as long as written okay uh, in fact uh, us say one of the states alabama it has even more uh, longer longer than our constitution but it's a state so we don't consider it as you know ours is a Uh, democratic republic nation country uh, find out what is the difference between nation country and state okay that is your task assignment so that's uh, that is how we say our say the biggest or bulkiest longest written constitution okay how many words are there do you know in our constitution almost one and half lakh words this preamble contains 81 words after uh, amendment 40 Uh, second amendment uh, 1976 they added five more words okay in lakshmi kanth has given three words he left out uh, two words you can add two more words what are those words i tell you later so through 42nd amendment they have added five more words uh, totally our preamble originally it contained 81 words now after amendment after those uh, addition of those five words now pre- our preamble contains 86 words fine and our constitution is bulkiest long written longest written you know all those things do you know uh, us constitution how long it is how many pages it contains how many words it contains how many articles it contains in fact our original constitution contains 395 articles and 22 parts whereas usa constitution contains only four pages can you imagine only four pages seven articles that's all ours 
our constitution has 395 articles that was original now it has crossed 500 articles okay uh, and us constitution contains only seven articles four pages only only four pages and it has altogether 4543 words so our constitution is biggest longest written constitution all that we look in the next part of our video. Today we are just sticking to preamble, that to part one because there are a lot of things to be told. So this preamble, you have to buy heart this. Why buy heart? Because it's such a beautiful piece of poetic work, you know. Okay. Where it is? This is preamble, okay. See this artwork, all this design. It has very wonderful story. Who are the artists? Who did this? Our constitution, it is actually handwritten. Calligraphy, we say, the beautiful art, artful handwriting. That's what calligraphy. Can you see all these things here? This design and all, all this part. Okay. See all this design. There's a lot of things there here. So, this artwork is done by some artists. In the Nandilal Bose and calligraphy. Written by some Biohar, uh, we'll see all those things. Written by calligraphy, it is done by Prem Manohar uh, Sina or Saksina, and uh, we'll see all those things later. So, it is such a wonderful uh, book. It is written on parchment sheet. Okay, the parchment sheet is thicker than our uh, normal, regular uh, thick paper. It's a parchment sheet, it's even more thicker. That's why it is very bulky. It has 234 pages of our constitution. Okay, and uh, the life, shelf life is 1000 years. It is kept in our parliament uh, museum. It is preserved, the original copy. And uh, it is uh, micro free parchment sheets. Okay. So the total weight of this original constitution is 13 kg. Okay, 13 kg. Now, uh, all these things, see, each part, it contains 22 parts, okay, and 395 articles, original constitution, I am telling you. So, whatever they added later, they retained those numbers, 395 articles only, that referencing is same, from 1 to 395. If they have added some articles, there is no 396th article in our constitution. So now almost uh, number of articles have crossed 500, okay. So how they did that numbering, suppose they had an article 2, article 1, article 2, article 3, like this. So one more they added, it is 2A. So that is how they retained the numbering, that reference number 1 to 395, but wherever they added new article, they just added that with letter. In Panchayat uh, Raj Act, they added almost, see, 243, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, S, like that, they added, they went on adding letters. But 243 remained as it is. That is how our, even today, our constitution contains 395 articles only, reference number and telling. But whatever article they added, whatever uh, 105 or uh, 105 or so articles are added, all those are given, those uh, letters, A, B, C, D, like that. So don't get confused. What is this uh, 243 O? What is this 243 uh, S, A, like that. So to maintain the reference numbers of articles, original articles, they have done it like this. Fine, then now, uh, you have to buy out this preamble. Uh, it is so beautiful, okay? Not rot learning. Bahat. Bahat means you take it, take it to your heart. That means you have to love the subject. Bahat means not just repeating whatever comes to your mouth. Not like mantra, shloka. Bahat means you have to understand the thing and try to bahat it. I was asked this question in my interview, in my personality test. To recite or preamble. See, 
So such unpredictable questions will come. So you should be prepared for the things. You have to buy out this. You should be able to recite it whenever you are asked. Or yourself, you keep telling this. It contains wonderful words, noble words, justice, liberty, equality, fraternity, sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic, solemnly resolved. Wonderful words. That's why it's a poetic expression. Who wrote this actually? Actually, preamble is uh, the first session, constituent assembly first session. Jawaharlal Nehru moved objective resolution on fifth day. Okay, objective resolution is what? How our constitution should be? What kind of constitution we should have? Whether it should be autocratic or democratic? whether it is sovereign or only republic, what is the difference between sovereign and republic, what kind of uh, Britain is also republic or what. We will see that differences, we will see later what, what is a republic, what is a democratic country. There is a slight difference, minute, very delicate difference. We will understand each word later. Right now you please buy out this. We the people of India, we say people not person. See it has wonderful grammatical uh, uh, elements also. We don't say we the persons of India or we the men of India. We say people. Find out the difference between people, person, man, human, human. Hmm? What is the difference? So it is, see, look at this comma, even comma, semicolon. See, after justice, they have put social, comma, economic and political. After justice, they have put comma. Okay. Then after social also. Why it is so? In case of liberty, liberty of thought, after that comma, expression, comma. Okay. They have put liberty of thought, not just liberty, comma, thought. Whereas justice, comma, social, comma, like that. Why? These are all adjectives. Adjectives come before nouns. So much of grammar is involved. You please look into all these aspects. You feel somewhat very really elevated. Okay, you have to prepare like this. You have to evolve through your this process. Then only you can achieve success with all your genuinity. Okay. Fine, then you buy out this. I know I can buy I can tell you word by word right now, but there's no time for it. Just please buy out this. It will give you a kind of uh, blissful feeling. Okay, it will elevate your mood. Okay, next I am coming to see this. What is this? This beautiful uh, structure. This structure represents our constitution, and this particularly this graphic, 3, 3D graphic, is done by Dr. Rajeshwari Kasturi. She is my wife. We have a very emotional story about this IS and KS. Okay, we, we succeeded in, uh, we got success in. KS, Karnataka Administrative Service. Um, that time we were not married, we were just friends. So she got some uh, thousand-dollar post, I got some very lower post. But because of that corruption, see, we were supposed to get assistant commissioner post. In personality test, they have they brought it brought us down so that we couldn't get the top post because of corruption. So I got revolted to the extent that I, I tore my certificates. Can you believe this? I tore my degree certificate, my mass card. If the case is still in court, 1998 KS exam, Karnataka Administrative Service. Okay, I, I renounced from all this. I decided I should not get into any government service. Fine. After that, what happened? Uh, Rajesh Farikasuri, she we were, we were trying for UPS also, we have written that exam also. Then she got selected. Because I renounced, I was in a kind of Buddha, Buddha state of renunciation, not enlightenment, renunciation. So I decided to not join any government service. Because of me, she did not choose IAS. Okay. She chose ISS. It's more of a technical side. So she was all in India rank 12 or 14. 
and uh, she did not go for IAS because of my renunciation. She joined ISS. Now she is in Delhi, posted in Finance Ministry. She is Assistant Director General in the Income Tax Department. She is here. I will show you her photo. Okay. This is her office at Delhi. Okay. If you happen to go to Delhi, please meet her. So almost uh, 2000 uh, uh, people work under her. She is boss. She can give, she, I can uh, ask her to talk to you, I will make one video, but I thought it's not required. I know all the stoppers and uh, <coughs> IS uh, rank holders, <coughs> what they talk and what they prepare and what they talk, all those things I know. So I was, because of her, I had the privilege to stay at Masuri Lal Bodhu Shastri IS uh, the Administrative Academy. <clears throat> that is for probationary period, you have to go there and uh, for two years, okay. So, I was also there during that time. I know I am connected to all these uh, IELTS officers and uh, I know how they work, how their personality is. I know the people who have watched so many toppers coming in YouTube, guiding you, this, that. So, I can also do that, but I can make Rajeshwari uh, talk to you, I can make one video of her and uh, she can give guidance but I know what kind of guidance she will do, I can also give that through her. So this is sorry, why I am telling all these things. Uh, see this beautiful 3D graphic is done by her. In fact I, I asked her, concept is mine, I asked her to can you do something like this and see she did this, such a wonderful 3D graphics. What is this? It represents our constitution. Constitution contains 22 parts. Here, 22 buildings are there. All this color, they indicate number of articles. Okay. Number of articles. Each red color contains more than 100 articles. This yellow color, up from 75 to 100. <coughs> Sorry. And this green blue color, 50 and below. So all these things, all these are buildings represent our 22 parts of constitution. Okay. Uh, and uh, this tallest red building is, is about union. Okay. It comes in part 5 or so. So we are going to learn about all these things. I have in fact on how to master our constitution in three days. Yeah, just in three days you can master. This beautiful 3D edifice, okay, created by Dr. Rajeshwari Kasturi with my concept, it will give you the idea how to master our constitution in just three days. It all depends on you. Yeah, definitely you can. You can uh, download my app, Genius uh, Book Classes for all exams. There I have uploaded some videos. You can go through it. You can master the entire constitution, our constitution, all 500 plus articles, 20, 25 parts. Okay. All those things you can master in just three days. Okay. Now, uh, this building, let me just tell you here. Such a wonderful eye, it is so inspiring. If I see each building represents one part, so 22 buildings are there. Each floor, okay, represents, uh, I mean, number of floors each building contains. That number of floors represent number of articles contained in that part, okay. So, this 3D graphics, it is so inspiring to me. I, I don't know, it's I'm feeling so. Elevated, you know. Just observe, I'll give you just one, seven, one two, three seconds. Just observe it. I have not uh, said thanks for Rajeshwari. I am telling now, Dr. Rajeshwari, thank you very much. I hope my viewers are enjoying this. Okay, now, shall we move on? Find them. I think this will end at this here. In 
part two, we look into other aspects of our preamble, whether it is part of our constitution or not, why that question came, what is the uh, status now, all those things. There are so many other things you never heard of, all those things we look into next part. After that, we'll, we will plunge into actual constitution, how to master it and all those things. I'll give you hints. If you are interested, you can download, download my app that genius book classes there i have uploaded many videos you can uh, go through those things you will get real mastery over constitution i think i will end this because by looking at the structure uh, i am not willing to do any other thing okay i just want to keep watching this structure is it not beautiful yeah it is beautiful not because my wife created this. Uh, see, so beautiful it is. Okay, you remember this and then uh, remember Penguin, remember uh, Edmund Hillary, Tenzin Norge, and then Tendulkar or whoever your hero is. Just walk before preamble. Please recite it. Tomorrow morning you should be able to. Recite it yourself, okay? We the people of India having solemnly resolved all those things. Thank you very much. See you again soon, very soon, because next part is coming up, part two of this preamble. Thank you. Bye.